in my experiences, I have interacted with people who have a, acquired great wisdom and knowledge. Many of them are very humble people. The reason is they started at a smaller level of wisdom and knowledge, but as they studied and gained life experience and listened to the Lord and acted on His Word, they grew in their knowledge. Now, what you notice, the circumference of this circle is much smaller than this circumference. It turns out that as you gain knowledge and wisdom, the circumference of your ignorance, the surface area of the ignorance that you're now touching has actually expanded. So there's this irony that as you gain wisdom and knowledge from learning and studying the things of the world and from God, you also bump up against more ignorance, which is back to, I should never take myself so seriously that I have all the answers. I have not yet received all truth to be circumscribed in one great whole. There's still yet more for God to reveal. So I hear this phrase and I ask myself, how am I doing at not uh, being careful at not calling good evil and evil good? Am I getting too wise in my own eyes or am I willing to be humble that as I gain knowledge, it actually means I have greater access to ignorance? It's this really interesting paradox. Again, the people that I know who have gained great knowledge, many of them are some of the most humble people I know. And sometimes I have seen people, and I have done it too, that I have enormous pride in my ignorance or I have enormous um, satisfaction in what I don't know, or I take, um, I feel very strong about a limited view on the world. And I have had many experiences where I've had to realize that my limited view had to be upgraded and updated with new light and truth. It's a hard process. That's a powerful concept, Taylor, this idea of what I know being on the inside, what I don't know being on the outside. I think we've all experienced that of getting the answer to a question, something that we didn't know, which then extends our knowledge base out here. Well, as he's saying, now that just brings on even more questions, which isn't a bad thing. Questions are wonderful because it's, it causes us to inquire and to search diligently and to keep asking. So, I love that, especially in the context of Isaiah, as we're embarking on five weeks of studying the, these words of Isaiah. Don't be afraid of what you don't know, Let's be humble about what we do know and diligent about what we don't know and seeking those answers. It's a powerful concept.